find the LCM and HCF of 35, 55 and 77. To find the HCF and LCM, first we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. That is C. 35, 55 and 77. Okay, next. Here we have 35, 35 is 5 7 is 35. Now we have 7, 7 is a prime number, so 7 1 is 7. Now the other number, 55. Last digit is 5, so we take 5 here. The first number 5, when do we get 5 in 5 table? 5 1 is 5. The other number 5, when do we get 5 in 5 table? 5 1 is 5. Now here we have 11, 11 is a prime number, so 11 1 is 11. Now the other number, 77. Here each digit is 7. And most important, 7 is a prime number. So we take 7 here. The first number 7, when do we get 7 in 7 table? 7 once 7. The other number 7, when do we get 7 in 7 table? 7 once 7. Now here we have 11, 11 is a prime number, so 11 once 11. Now our HCF is, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present over here and here and also here. I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places, here and here and also here. Okay, so now let us find the numbers which are present here and here and also here. Starting with the number 5. Do we have 5 here? Yes. Next place. Do we have 5 here? No. Go to the next number 7. Do we have 7 here? No. So no need to check in the other place. No more numbers have been left. Therefore, we do not have any number present in all the three places. In these situations, we should always take HCF to be 1. I repeat, we do not have any number present in all the three places. So we should take HCF to be 1. So this is our HCF. Now to get LCM, whatever HCF we got to that, we should multiply by the numbers which appeared either once or twice in these three places. What I mean is C. Here we have 5. Here also 5. We don't have 5 here. Here you cut these two 5s and write here. For LCM, whether the number is present in one place or two places, still you will cut and write here. HCF, it should be present in all the three places. Understood the difference? Next. Here we have 7. Do we have 7 here? No. Do we have 7 here? Yes. So you cut 7 and write here. Now here 11. Do we have 11 here? Yes. So you cut 11 and write here. Now each number has been cut. So our LCM is 1 into 5, 5 into 7, 35 into 11. We get 385 is our LCM. Am I clear?